After being trapped on the Jolly Lamham, obtaining the pirate's power and joining forces with Captain Gaff, Kutaro nearly cornered Pig and Sheep. The epic chase continues as Kutaro dives to the bottom of the sea. Now back to Kutaro's tale. Down in the depths lived a plethora of mind-numbingly mystical creatures who happened to like their freedom. So, as you might imagine, they and the god of the sea didn't exactly crack open the champagne when the Moon Bear King took over. Well, the tyrant knew a pack of unruly sea monsters could be trouble, so he ordered Generals Pig and Sheep to pollute the Moonshine Sea with magic oil. It transformed the Sea God's servants into dastardly, greedy creatures that devoured everything in their path. As our brave little heroes dove deeper, they found themselves in a world of darkness where the water ran black and sunlight was a distant memory. What is up with this ocean? I'd say I've never seen anything so gross, if I could actually see. In time, the two arrived at an ancient and secret palace at the bottom of the sea. Within it dwelt a gargantuan god whose strength had been all but sapped by the tyrant's oil. <laughs> Oh. Where are we? Oh. Are you okay? Seriously, what is up? Vultures up, vultures up in the underwater palace. Supposed to be the sea gods and free from greed and malice. Where the water's clean enough to see into the stratosphere. Created natural disasters, not like war them. Trident! Trident? Oh, like a pointy spear. Pointy spears, pointy spears. Yes, a trident is called a trident. Triple wound and extra wound, see what's bright and joy. And pointy spears are something else. A trident could banish evil, but
four delicious subjects. Uh, uh, I fear there is no hope. He seems pretty depressed, huh? Hey, Squid Dude, are you going to take us to where the Kraken is? You are? Well, of course you are. Your lives are at stake. Let's book it, Kata- You must save my ocean! My scrumptious Ica and Woody! My Imtuna and Abby! And especially my Toro! Oh, and don't forget the Anago and Hotate! And all the other edible white fishes and other fishes! He sure knows his sushi menu! That's my kind of god! Showing us the way! Atta boy! Give that squid a cookie! These shrimp snacks really rough up Squiddy's engine! Lucky! I would give anything for one mouth-watering meal! I can't get my mind up all that delicious sushi! Or maybe some calamari! Kutaro was on snack, uh, excuse me, on track to finding the Kraken and stealing back the God of the Sea's trident. It was a worthy cause. Picarina could picture the clam baits already. Hey, we're not in this for the seafood. We're in it for some big fat moonstone sharks. Oh, I mean, we're in it because it's like the right thing to do, yeah? Nice try, darling. The God of the Sea's squid carried Kutaro even to the Kraken's briny lair. They had plenty to contend with between a smack of freewheeling jellyfish, treacherous spikes in the terrain, and rocks sharp enough to shave them. As he went deeper into the trench, Kutaro noticed the marine life was getting just a little bit more freaky. Just then, a ferocious fish with a built-in headlight and a nasty set of gnashers decided to crash Kutaro's cruise. It's an anchor fish! Ooh, I... Kutaro was in hot water of his own. One after another, he was beset by murderous deep sea men. The menu was tearing Kutaro apart too, but he fought on, hoping to reach the Kraken soon. The jellyfish, as it turned out, were on the good guy's side. Sure, they didn't know Kung Fu, but they were masters at just sort of floating there, which made them perfect stepping stones for Kutaro. At long last, Kutaro reached the ocean's darkest depths. With sunlight out of the picture and oily goop mucking up the water, the whole place looked like a sloppy excuse for nightfall. That looks like a shark. Is it wax? Giant anglerfish incoming! The oil slick had worked its tricks and morphed this fishy feed into an impossible size. The battered remains of a sunken ship lay on the ocean floor. A squadron of squid squiggled solemnly nearby, as if paying their respects to the sun. Just then, a giant tentacled menace appeared. It was a squiddle intimidating. Squiddle? Swake! That was incredible! 
wasn't it? Pagan Sheep's goopy oil had done a number on the legendary Kraken, transforming him into a demonic butcher who chopped up the local marine life, gussied up their corpses, and then devoured their flesh. Hey, Rachai! What will it be, folks? Ooh, ooh, I'll have tuna. Extra fatty. Tuna, eh? Might I recommend octopus? No, you may not. Placing the order here, Buster, and I want tuna. Don't tell me what to eat. The customer is always right. I demand service. Then go eat a hamburger, you finish time. Ordering sushi is a choreographed ritual. And you <laughs> hey, Russia! You thieves! Coming right up! Ooh, and the banana! Why, you? Let's go! Ha! We got the lag one! No! No, no! Ha! Oh! Ow! Ha! Prepare for to be slow! Faster! Put your back into it! Three daily catches! Extra spikes! Oh, look out! Dodge that sushi! All right, you punk. If you want to play dirty, we're gonna start cutting more legs off. Prepare or to be slow. Faster! Put your back into it!
a little squeeze. Oh, slippery little eel. Aye, ow. Oh, feisty one, eh? If it ain't weird and wild, you won't find it on Kraken's menu! Don't step on the wrong sushi! He's trying to trick you!
Trident, it will make the ocean blue again, and coral pink, and seaweed green, and every starfish orange. What rhymes with orange? Trident rhymes with orange. It rhymes with everything. It rhymes with everything. Every creature stands in awe before the sea goes Scissor wielding hero, thanks to you, the moonshine sea has regained its former splendor. You have my deepest gratitude. Thanks to you, thanks to you, the sea is back to. Shut up, Kutaro! I would like to present you with a party gift. I have filled Calibus with a new power. One I am certain will make your journey easier. The god of the sea placed some of the trident's power in Calibus because he believed Kutaro could hew out a better future. But would he part the stormy seas of destiny or invite new storms of his own?